Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you another ignition coil driver that I've made. Um, if you watched my previous video, I'll uh, put a link to that on the screen. Now in the previous video I made an ignition coil driver using an automotive or car relay which is wired in self oscillation mode and that provides the pulses of DC electricity to the ignition coil and that gives pretty good results. And I've seen a few videos where people have used an inverter, so I'm going to try the same and see what results I get. Um, basically what you've got here is you've got a 12 volt battery. You've got here is a small 75 watt inverter which puts out 240 volts from a 12 volt DC input. It's obviously a modified sine wave, so it's more or less a square wave anyway. So you don't need a dimmer switch for this setup. Um, and the way that this is wired is um, basically you've got a, a UK plug here. Um, you have a brown wire here, which is the live wire. That goes into a capacitor, and this capacitor here is... I don't know if you can see that there. No, you can't really make it out. But it is a 500 volt AC capacitor, and it's 220 nanofarads or 0.22 microfarads um, and it's basically the capacitor serves to limit the current going to the coil and also it acts as a high pass filter I believe to um, let a higher frequency signal through that the coil needs to operate if I've got that wrong, if anybody knows a bit about electronics and they can tell me um, a, a bit more about it but I believe the capacitor does actually limit the current but to be honest with you at 75 watts you're getting a maximum anyway of about 300 odd milliamps going through this coil um, and I, so you've got the positive wire going to the capacitor and the other right leg of the capacitor goes to the positive terminal of the, terminal of the ignition coil the blue wire that you see is the neutral wire and that goes from the negative terminal of the ignition coil back to the plug here. What we've got here, this is just a bit of insulation that normally covered those wires but I've just obviously stripped that off. The other wire here is an earth wire which is not used in this setup so we'll just ignore that, you don't need it. Um, and I've just basically took a bit of earth wire here doesn't matter, it could be any wire, and I put it in the high voltage terminal, and there's a gap here, and that is about a, nearly an inch, I would say, and that's about an inch away from the negative terminal of the ignition coil. So when I put on the power to the inverter, uh, let's see what sparks we get. Um, now, I don't know how long this will last before it breaks the inverter because I believe the inductive kick will probably finish the inverter off anyway um, pretty, in pretty short order if you keep this running for too long uh, let's see some sparks right, let's see some more sparks, we'll go a bit closer, I don't want to go too close otherwise I'll get a wee zap off it Right, so, I mean, it does work, but see, to be perfectly honest with you, it's not brilliant. If you watch my other video where I use the oscillating relay, that works off 12 volts, and the sparks are much higher in frequency, much more frequent sparks, and they are much more aggressive sparks, so to be honest with you, um, I probably wouldn't waste your time going for a 75 watt inverter, I mean this cost me £15, but to be honest with you, just buy the car really, it's only a few pounds or a few bucks if you're in America, and uh, you get much better results with it, so you do, um, unless, I've seen better results using uh, 240 volts, but using the dimmer setup. but in that case, uh, you're basically using like proper mains AC voltage, and it's much more dangerous and uh, even some of that, some of those videos, the results have not been brilliant unless you're using a, a decent capacitor like the one that I'm using there because the smaller the capacitor the less current can actually go through um, I probably won't attempt to use actual mains AC from the wall but just to let you see the difference there what I'll do is I'll include a clip at the end of this video that shows you the difference between what I've just shown you here 
which is these sparks and the sparks that you would get from using the relay set up. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Okay, as promised, this is the comparison using the automotive uh, car relay wired in self oscillation mode. And as you'll see, the results are much more impressive than that inverter I just showed you. And it's only 12 volts that's going through this setup here, rather than the inverter putting out 240 volts. And here we go. And as you can see, those sparks are much more intense, uh, much more uh, frequent as well and even when you move the wire closer uh, what you get is, uh, let's see if this works oh well, I just need to move the wire a wee bit closer right you get a nice fiery kind of arc effect now if I move the wire that close even with the inverter all I would get is the puny blue sparks so as you can see, um, there's not really much point in going for an inverter unless you were going to go for something really high power, in which case the inverter would probably be a bit expensive and you wouldn't want to use it for this purpose because there's a chance that you could fry it due to the inductive kickback of the coil. Right, that's all folks. Thanks now. Bye bye.